is up everyone my name is Shap and welcome to something a little different today um, I've seen a couple of things but nothing really updated so I wanted to give you guys a kind of tutorial on how to make a uh, overlay for OBS using paint.net um, I don't it's free so it's really simple really it's just it's the way to do it. It's what I used for um, LSPDFR vehicle editing, uh, vehicle skins and such as well. So want great program, easy to use. Anyway, let's let's just enough. <laughs> yeah, enough of that. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to the image. We're gonna resize it. Uh, we're gonna go make sure maintain aspect ratio is turned off and we're gonna set it to 1920 by 1080 Perfect boom there we go. We got our image um, and I'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit So I have an easier view of everything And then we're gonna go to file new 1920 and let's do uh, Let's do 75 75 is a good number so this will give us a nice little bar on our screen. And what we can do here is now you can select a color, you can select an image, and then there's lots you can do. You can use a gradient, um, and then there are options like linear, linear reflected, diamond, radial, conical, spirals. Cool, kind of neat. Um, I haven't played with these. Um, as you can see on the one I'm using right now, I just did a Google search for police lights and this is one of the one of the ones that came up that I actually really liked. So let's go to file open um, and we're gonna do this carbon wallpaper that I found. Look at that, that is freaking, that is cool. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna click on that, we're gonna make sure we have our Move selected pixels selected. We're going to copy with control C and we are going to paste and we're going to keep the canvas size. Now what I'm going to do here is just kind of line this up as best I can. Find something I like. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the middle. Just got to find a part of the image that you really like. I think I'm gonna go with that. Perfect. Hit enter. And then we're gonna control C. Oh, we're gonna select that box first and we're gonna control C. We're gonna go back in here, create a new layer and control V. Now, what you can do on the background layer is you can leave it white. Um, I've seen one of the videos I saw recommend you're painting it black. It's fine, we can do that too doesn't really matter this is going to be your screen space like you can see right now we have uh, set up here so I'm going to leave it white for now because I haven't tried that yet so I just want to make sure it still works while I have you guys here um, okay and we are going to create a new layer what I'm going to do now is what you see on my screen I have a basically a half of an octagon we're gonna open we got a couple different shapes here I've got a hexagon I've got an octagon and I've got a slightly twisted or rotated twisted rotated same difference right um, <laughs> octagon I'm going to try you know what? I'm gonna open both of these um, just because I don't know how well this one's gonna work so what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna click on the magic wand we're gonna go here we're gonna click on the background and we're gonna hit delete we're gonna go into all of these and delete them can I nope can't do that all right now that all those are deleted, I'm actually going to zoom in a little more. So what do we think would look good with this? Um, we could do a gray like I already have, or we can do a black, I think. Or we could do something real funky. See how a blue would look. 
Uh, let's go with a navy blue. We're going to click on our plant bucket. That is not very navy like. Oh, look, I inadvertently clicked on stuff. Okay. Um, what the hell? What is this? We'll select that. We'll delete it. Uh, I'm not sold. Let's try the light gray. Oh, cool. And it painted everything for us. That's awesome. You know what? Let's just do black. Black is a good color. All right, so we're going to hit enter out of that. And then we're just going to select. Oops, no, we're going to select this bottom half here. And we only need that much. We're going to control C that. Now, you know what? Let's make sure. Heh, see, I'm not immune to mistake. Uh, we're going to click on the move selected pixels tool. We're going to copy it again just to be safe. And on our new layer, we're going to hit control V. Um, so I don't know a great way to center this. So if you guys know of a good way, please uh, let me know, first of all. But also, feel free to share it. Um, Mm -hmm. well, I do not know it might be too small let's bring it out to there and we'll bring it out to there bring it out bring it out bring it out perfect all right I kind of like that uh, you know what we can do we're actually and because we're on a new layer we can do this we're gonna select it oops, select it again Move pixels, and I think I'm gonna make it a little smaller, a little shorter rather. I mean, we don't wanna take up the whole screen. That, that looks good to me. I think that looks good to me. I like it. I'm just gonna close that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is again, we are going to add a new layer. Now here, we're gonna pick a color that we like. I'm gonna go with red this time. And we're gonna click on text. Now, there are lots of fonts you can use. Ooh, adventure, that looks fun. Let's try that. You can download free fonts. I do not remember the name of the website. I will try and find it for y'all. Um, that way you can do Oh, I do like that. That's cool. That is so cool. Okay. And that's in a pretty good spot, actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deselect the text icon and we can go to, uh, we're actually gonna, while we're on that box, reselect that effects object outline object whoa no um do we want a yellow or do we want a blue oh i like the blue um, can we cancel i want to zoom in on this because i i couldn't really get a good look at it and zooming in won't really change anything for you it you know it it won't change anything for you it just makes it so it's easier for you to see Let's go back to our blue. Uh, that's kind of more of a purple. There we go. Uh, we'll increase that by one. No, we might have to keep it at two. Yeah, that way we get a little bit of black right there in the A. I like it. Let's do it. Cool. We'll hit enter. <coughs> and I mean, at this point, we're really, we're done. Um, what you can do is if you have, uh, it's being a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm gonna close these just for my own sanity. We don't need to save that. Don't need to save that. Don't need to save that. 
what you can do is you can add like the Twitter icon, the YouTube icon or whatever, and then your usernames for those. My name is the same everywhere I go. Just easier that way. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I think it just clutters things, but that's just me. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to file, save as, uh, I'm gonna save it to the desktop here and you can see somewhere, somewhere, no, because it says a PDN. You wanna save it as a JPEG. I've got my shop banner. We're gonna go banner two, because I am super creative like that. And we're going to save, okay, and we are going to flatten the image. So, that's how we make our banner. Now, what OBS Studio in its one of its more recent update, I don't know when because obviously I hadn't been recording for a while, they changed the way this next part operates. Now hopefully this won't screw with my screen too much, but we're going to open OBS. I'm gonna drag it over here. Whoa, oh, hello. Inception, Inception. Oh, that's a lot of me on the screen. Uh, we are going to edit this banner overlay. Uh, what you do is you're gonna go to add image and then you can name it. I'm gonna add existing banner overlay. I'm not actually gonna do it since we already have one here. We're gonna go to properties we're gonna browse for the file stream banner no we named it banner 2 didn't we there it is Woo, boy so now as you can see I have disappeared uh oh I may have done something wrong that's odd Huh, all right, well, let's see if this still works. <laughs> We're gonna go to filters. We're gonna go to, oh, because I have the color key set to black, that's why. Um, We're gonna go to add, We're gonna go to color key, and we're gonna select color. And there's a lot of here, things here. You can also click pick screen color. We're gonna click white. If you know the hexadecimal for whatever color you use, that works too. Um, we're gonna close that. And ta-da, we're back. Hello, everybody. Let me maximize this. Whoa, that is trippy. But still, it looks, looks good. Looks good to me. We might have been better off uh, changing this to gray and then doing doing it that way, then we probably wouldn't have this little line here, but that's okay. This is still a learning process. I'm still learning every day. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys learned something. You can add anything you want. You could add a box for your webcam or anything you wanna do. I just remember to always add a new layer, but uh, what was I saying? Um, that's gonna do it for us today, I guess. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If I did something wrong, let me know. If you like this, also let me know in the comment section. You know where it is. And, uh, wow, I'm tired. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like the video, comment. If you're new, <laughs> subscribe. Gotta go through my mental checklist. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the thumbs up button because that's how YouTube analytics apparently works now. I don't really know. I don't make any money anyway, so I don't really care. Ha <laughs> ha, I just do this for fun. Um, and I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.